concerns are rising after Rhode Island announced its first human case of Triple E in five years. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. This news comes as student athletes begin hitting the field again. 12 News reporter Lauren Brill has the details on the precautions being taken to protect those athletes and how state health officials say you can protect yourself. Lauren? Well, I spoke with the boys soccer coach here at Pilgrim High School. He says that the junior varsity game against Cherahoe on Thursday has been postponed to make sure no kids are outside after dusk. High school sports are back, but as students are hitting the field, there's some concerns when it comes to Triple E and West Nile virus. Rhode Island officials announced the state's first human case of Triple E in five years. There's also a new probable case of West Nile virus. We spoke with one parent whose son was a freshman on the junior varsity team at Tollgate back in 2019. All of our games needed to be played before dusk, so therefore all varsity games took precedence and got moved forward. So these JV players really didn't have a season. Over at Pilgrim High School, boys soccer coach Tom Flanders tells me the only impact so far is on the boys junior varsity soccer game against Cherahoe Thursday night. He says they were notified by Cherahoe School's athletic director last week. The goal is to make sure all the games are done before the sun goes down. You know, our boys are uh, they are good sports about it and they understand that uh, some things are out of our control. Coach Flanders says it's too early to tell if any other games will be impacted and on the sidelines he's prepared. Yeah, I have a med kit, uh, you know, full of uh, everything you need from uh, shoelaces to uh, band-aids and now uh, three cans of uh, off uh, to make sure that uh, when the sun goes down, um, you know, we're uh, we're protected from uh, any any type of threat. Dr. Suzanne Bornshine one of the medical directors with the Rhode Island Department of Health says it's not only about protecting yourself. Mosquito proof your home by draining standing water and repairing screens on your windows. We want to be thinking about what can we do to make it so that mosquitoes don't have an opportunity to multiply around our surroundings so it increases the likelihood we get bitten. Health officials say that the threat of mosquitoes is usually gone after the first frost. In Warwick, Lauren Brill, 12 News.